went and said to me one morning, I want you to think about something. I said, what about these statues, man? We need to do something, especially that statue of Lee. There's no reason for him to have a statue in New Orleans. He didn't win anything. I think my first reaction was that he lost your mind. The issue is, this is a symbol of a defeated general. I always wanted it removed. I used to dream about blowing it up. Of course, I wasn't going to do it, but I would dream about it, like in high school. And it, it was always on my mind. That was the first time that I actually put myself in somebody else's shoes. And then I just started researching it. Some of them were put out well after the Civil War had ended by the Daughters of the Confederacy and the Cult of the Lost Cause. The people that lost decided to put these statues up to send a message to people just like Wenton that you're lesser than. And even though we lost the war and the United States won, we're not coming along. And that's why Robert E. Lee's arms are folded and he's looking north. It's an affront to the idea of what America was supposed to be post-war. Where are the monuments for, of course, the four million American citizens who were enslaved, beaten, tortured, raped? I mean, that's what slavery was. As Landrieu was contemplating what to do, nine black parishioners were murdered in the Charleston AME Church by Dylan Roof, a 21-year-old self-proclaimed white supremacist who posted photos like this one online. 150 years after the end of the Civil War, the time has come. As a result, the Confederate flag flying over the South Carolina State House was lowered for good. And nationwide, there was a re-examination of Confederate symbols. It is specifically the moment that South Carolina happened when I said to myself, you know what, we can't wait anymore to do this. These issues have to be confronted. But it wasn't easy. It took us seven different lawsuits, 13 separate judges. I mean, people really kicking and screaming. In the spring of 2017, after the city council voted to remove the four statues, the first of them came down. There were imminent death threats that were coming in. The reason three of them were taken down at night was on advice of security personnel who basically said it's harder to get shot by a sniper at night. But there were also celebrations, New Orleans style. When the final statue of Robert E. Lee was removed from its nearly 60-foot column, Landrieu gave a speech that got national attention. These monuments celebrate a fictional sanitized Confederacy, ignoring the death, ignoring the enslavement, ignoring the terror that it actually stood for. 